Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Crop circles and crop formations are seen from thousands of feet above the earth. I created this one and I'll show you the techniques to make your own. For your convenience, I provided the link of this image in the video's description so you can download it directly. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open the document of the person or object you'd like to make into a crop formation. We need to make a selection around the head so it can be cut from its background and placed into our original aerial shot of crops. There are many ways to make a selection, but for this example I'll use the lasso tool. Draw around the head. It could be very general. When it's completed, it turns into a selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Press V to call up your Move tool. To get the cutout head into the Crop Formation document, click anywhere down on the image and drag it up onto the Crop tab. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your Transform tool and Ctrl or Command plus zero to see the entire transform on your screen. To make your head smaller, go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. When you're happy with the size, press Enter or Return and then fit the entire image on your screen. Next, we'll remove all the color from the head. To do this, press Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Then press Ctrl Shift L or Command Shift L to apply auto levels. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and choose Stamp. The two adjustments in the Stamp filter are Light Dark Balance and Smoothness. By sliding these two adjustments, your photo will change depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics. For this head, I'll use 40 for the Light Dark Balance and 1 for Smoothness. To clean up your image, call up your pencil tool and make the blend mode normal and the opacity 100%. If your foreground color is black and the background is white, press X to reverse them. To make your pencil size larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key respectively. Now paint over areas to clean up and simplify your image. Hide the background by clicking off its eyeball. Open the Channels panel and click on the circular icon in the lower left. This will create a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Open your Layers panel and click back on the eyeball of the background to make it visible. Hide the head by clicking off its eyeball and press Q to make the selection into a quick mask. We need to invert it, make it back into a selection and press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Click on the background to make it active and cut and copy the selection from the background. Now we can trash the high contrast black and white head since we don't need it anymore. Click on the FX icon and choose Bevel and Emboss. Remember, depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to adjust the numbers we'll be assigning in the layer styles. The style is inner bevel and the technique smooth. Make the direction down and the size 6 pixels. Soften it 5 pixels. We'll make the angle 39 degrees and the altitude 21. We'll make the highlight blend mode color dodge and the opacity 35%. Make the shadow blend mode darken and the opacity 71%. Next, click drop shadow and the opacity 60%. Uncheck global light and make the angle minus 135. Make the distance 3 pixels and the size 2. Click on the background to make it active and make a copy of it. Now drag it up to the top of the layers panel. Go to your head and press Ctrl or Command to make it into a selection. Go to Select, Modify and Contract. We'll contract it by 3 pixels. Go back to Select modify and feather. We'll feather it by two pixels. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the background copy. Click off the chain link between the background and its layer mask. This will allow us to move them independently of each other. 
Click on the background copy to make it active and change the blend mode to screen. Click on filter, distort, and twirl. Slide the angle all the way to the right. I'd like to bring in the sides of the twirl texture to show more of it in the crop formation. Call up your transform tool. Go to a side of the transform and press shift and alt or shift and option and drag in until both sides of the transform are just outside the shape of the head. Press enter or return to accept it. We're ready to angle our image to give it more perspective. Press control shift alt E or command shift option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Go to edit, transform and perspective. Click on a bottom corner and drag out. Both corners move the same distance at the same time. Have fun transforming someone or something into an enormous, gorgeous crop formation seen from the sky. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.